Um, so if um, for all of you that are new to, to downloading the sheet, the sheet can be found on the uh, on my YouTube channel, uh, Oz underscore Eve, or it can also be found on my Twitch uh, channel below at the at the homepage below the video uh, box. Um, the um, what you need is uh, to also download Jeeve Assets. Um, that's what you see in the background here. So it's J Eve Assets. It's a Java application um, that um, keeps track of your assets, keeps track of your net worth, keeps track of your market transactions. Really neat tool. I really love it. So I used it as a basis for my trade sheet. Um, and so in the sheet, not only do you have a, a net worth tracker like you see the one here, but you also have a a tab that's called transactions and this is where um, where it pulls all the transactions for the accounts that you have set up um, and the neat thing about this is that you can uh, select all and copy uh, everything in this transaction sheet and then you can go over to the um, to the excel spreadsheet that you have downloaded and saved a, a local copy of so don't try to modify the one that you're downloading just save a local copy you're going to use it for your own uh, for your own stuff for your own trading with your own items and um, that's going to look like this it's going to have a transaction sheet and a, and a master sheet um, and some uh, calculation sheets but uh, basically on the transaction sheets all you do is you just click in the first box and you paste um, all the transactions that you just copied out of uh, Jeeve assets uh, that will take a second, um, depending on how many transactions you actually have, and that'll it'll be um, pasted in there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the item uh, column, and you're going to select everything. To do that quickly, you can hold down Shift and Control and Down button, and you're going to click on Control C for copy, or you right click and do copy, and then on the master sheet here. You click on the item column, column B, on the first one, and you click paste or control V. You paste it in here, and then you in Google Sheet in Google Docs or Google Sheets, you go click on data, and on data you click on remove duplicates and then click on remove duplicates. You don't have to do anything else. And then you have this wonderful sheet. If you have more items, then, um, then there are rows filled in with the formulas. You just highlight uh, the row right there, and then you drag it down on the right lower corner, drag it down to here. I actually saw, saw a discussion today on, uh, on, the, on our community Discord where somebody was saying that um, you know, it, it is including even items that are not trade items, and that's, that's true. Uh, on my Omega sheet, I actually have a column that says uh, current portfolio or uh, I one, one that says current portfolio, that's a one or a zero. And uh, I also have a column that says um, uh, uh, item type. So it could be use, it could be trade, uh, it could be um, loot. So that way I can do some reporting based on my uh, transactional data that uh, some custom reporting that I do because I have a I build a dashboard with graphs and everything because uh, I'm a nerd like that. And um, so here then you have a, uh, a sheet uh, that does exactly that. Um, if you have issues like the like this right here, then that means that um, either the name has changed or the ID has changed. Um, I can. Uh, uh, um, I can show you at a later point uh, how to how to fix something like that if you're if that problem is uh, coming up for you. Um, I just don't want to do that as term in terms of the or as part of the the regular walkthrough right now. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And you will see that today during the day uh, I added the much requested action and sell order opportunity columns D and E right here, so you can finally use them for yourself. Um, they are the ones that I um, I have been using um, on the stream a lot, and what this will do it, this is this will just tell you um, uh, I just deleted a cell I think there we go um, this will tell you what to do uh, actually you can trust it uh, uh, so. This is um, a, uh, uh, an action column that says either nothing, sell or buy. 
So it will check what's your inventory level based on your transaction. It will check on what's the current sell price. It will check on what's the current buy price. And it'll do some a little little magic. It's not secret. You can just see it in the um, in the formula column up here. You can also change it if you know what you're doing. Um, this assumes certain inventory levels and, and that sort of stuff. But you know, if you just want to know like right away, uh, if you don't have a lot of time to think about it, you can quickly see what you should buy right now and what you should sell. And the sell order opportunity column um, is uh, a column that checks whether there is a sell price at any of the major three uh, trade hubs uh, that is lower than the purchase price that you usually pay uh, on presumably buy orders that you get fulfilled. Uh, that is interesting because you can uh, uh, that might be um, a extremely cheap sell order that you want to snipe. So there you can uh, bypass any um, broker fees. You can um, uh, bypass the the time it takes to uh, put up an order and, and wait for it to to be fulfilled. So you can eliminate some some risk and some uncertainty, and um, you can snipe uh, immediately. So for example, right here, you see that right now the sheet is telling you for Serpentis gold tags, um, uh, you know the average buy price uh, of uh, of uh, our account apparently is two million. Uh, if you look right now, the buy price uh, in uh, uh, in Jita is 1.2 million, so that's already fantastic, fantastic low. And then the sell price is 1.9 million. So this is like actually cheaper than um, the presumably very wise investing that we have done uh, on the buy side. So um, yeah, so those are, those are two new columns. Um, they're also now available to you. Um, I'll try to keep on improving. Uh, if you want to improve the, the usability of the sheet, you can always uh, right click here and say collapse all columns. These are the columns that I've deemed not necessary uh, all time at all times.